I wish I had one of those clapper boards that Hollywood uses. I would click it and say, take two. So day three on the Alaskan Highway, we are right back where we ended last time. And all of our friends are across the street, so I guess they see we are fixed and back on the road, but we are not shutting this van off while we wait for the pilot car. So we stopped here, wait for the pilot car, saved some gas last time. I shut the engine off, would not start. So don't shut your engine off. And what was it? Um, it was a crankcase sense, uh, crankshaft sensor. So um, quick fix, quick cheap. Fix. The man was very, very good to us. It's a holiday weekend. He could have waited till Tuesday, but after we had it to the shop, maybe what an hour and a half, came back, back, got us, and we're back on the road. So um, what a blessing! We're back right where we started from. The guys at this construction so, and the ladies, Miranda, yes. who drives the pilot car, was so nice to us. They they yeah. uh, helped us uh, get a hold of somebody. So man, we can't say enough. Here we go, we're gonna start all over again. We're right at the base of Steamboat Mountain coming up here and Indian Head Mountain. Um, we're just waiting on the pilot car again, but man, this is awesome. Glad to be back on the road again. Hey, here's Miranda. She's the one that helped us out so much yesterday and um she drives the pilot car and, and she gives herky biscuits she's one of herky's best friends <laughs> <laughs> herky's best friend on the highway is miranda all right we hit one of the sections here of gravel they're doing some road construction so from what i understand there's gonna be several areas on Alaskan Highway that are gravel because of uh, construction. See some big slides, but... And in an Astro van, it's not a smooth ride <laughs> at all. But we're making the best of it. On Alaska Highway, if you come to Tesca River Outfitters, stop. Even if you're not gonna stay here, because let me show you. A cinnamon roll. We just got one because they're big because we understand that there's quite a few places on this journey we're on that has cinnamon rolls. So we're gonna let you know which one's the best. So here at Tesca River, it's a really nice stop to stop at they have restrooms they have gas here and they have a campground so uh, we're actually you know going to continue on but uh, one of the things i would say is that um, be careful this is on the gravel road section here where they're working on but be careful because you could go right by it and not see it um, because it's kind of hidden off the side but they are famous for their cinnamon rolls a lot of i've seen we've seen a lot of other youtubers stop here and uh, get some cinnamon rolls so we had to do the same all right we're back in the van we're gonna try out the cinnamon bun here it's really good what do you think oh wow it's no awesome mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good stuff oh. I'm glad we only bought one because they're huge. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. But it's nice and warm. Oh, what do you think, Herky? Mm. Right. You didn't get any, Dad. You didn't get any. So we're He's gonna hit back. the camp dog right now, actually. <laughs> so they have a dog here at the camp. It came over and Herky was in the van, and the the dog came over and peed on our tire. <laughs> no <way. laughs> so it is what it is. Herky was not happy about that. Um, this is his van, not that dog's, but all right, we're going to get back out on the road. We stopped here at Stone Mountain just to get a picture of this and I was taking a selfie and this couple pulled over and said, hey, 
how about we take your picture for you? So, we got a really good picture. We took some of them. Such nice people on this Alaskan highway. I just, I can't get over it. So anyway, take a look. It is gorgeous out here. Here at Tow River, when you stop and you get gas, um, there's just a nice place to kind of get out and stretch your legs and look around, as I mentioned before. But uh, man, look at the scenery. It's just, it's just great. Um, every turn in the road has a spot for a photo. I would say that this is probably one of the best sections we've drove so far. Um, really nice the weather is is fine um, I would say it's in the 50s uh, right now uh, I've got my short sleeves and wearing shorts and it's great I imagine it would get cold tonight but pretty neat uh, you see Nancy's up there at the van with Herky and uh, she's taking care of him and letting him get out and stretch his legs a little bit but yeah, it's really, really cool. And we're just having a great drive today. We don't have too much further to go. I think we have about 75 miles and we'll be at the Lyle River, uh, Lyle Hot Springs um, Provisional Park there. And we're gonna, we're gonna post up there and get in the hot springs. So hang on, that's further down the video, but we thought we'd show you where we're at. It's been a great year for the Ferguson family. We have gone from Toad Suck and now we're in Toad River. My, the beauty of this place is unbelievable. We're indescribable. We're at Mancho Lake, and uh, we've only got about oh maybe 35, 40 miles to go to our destination at Lyard Springs. But oh man, the lake's still frozen. Uh, they say when the lake's not frozen that uh, the color of the lake is just beautiful. But we were just looking at the water uh, along the edge, and I'm getting driftwood. <laughs> the water along the edge is crystal clear you can you can see the bottom it's amazing Nancy's picking up a little driftwood and we're just enjoying the beauty um, I'm in short sleeves and shorts it's a little chilly but not bad so it's chilly <laughs> but it's okay take a look around Herky knows Herky. good clean water when he sees it <laughs> he keeps drinking in the lake because it's beautiful We made it 
made it to Liard River Hot Springs. We got a site. We were excited because when we got here, there was only three sites left. Mm -hmm. And by so. the time I went up to pay, I, they put us on site 13. Yeah. And I walked up to pay. Campground was full. So within 15 minutes, uh, it would have yeah. been full. So. Yeah, so man, we've we had good. dinner, Ed made spaghetti again, and we've locked Herky in the camper, and we're walking up to the springs, and we're gonna take you with me because we have my camera, and it has a floaty handle on it. So we'll we've, take you in the springs. We've never been here. We've uh, seen some YouTube videos on this, Lots and this has those, been on yeah. our list of places we wanted to see. So let's walk down there. And I say it's about a 10 minute walk down there from our camp. We are walking on the handy dandy boardwalk back to the springs. The lady said to check the marsh area because the moose are usually in here, but I don't see them right now. Maybe on our walk back, but anyway, so we're hoping that this won't be so crowded because a lot of people are walking back for dinner and we already had ours. As we mentioned before, this is a holiday weekend in Canada. And so we've been warned that it could be really crowded here, but yeah, so far it's not been too bad. I mean, the campground's full, but yep. we don't know about the springs yet, but a lot of people are walking out, so here's hoping. Yep. Okay, we're in, and it's not too hot. I was afraid it would be too hot because, you know, I don't like hot tubs, but it's really crowded. So, but anyway, we're making the best of it, and we're going to go over here and check out, like, the sulfury-looking rocks. It's in the really hot part. I'm going back so, over So we're walking around and we're seeing that there is different like currents that run through here. I just got a cold And some of them you hit are just so hot you can't hardly stand it. So I'm going to see how hot I can take it. Okay, I moved down the river just a little bit. Uh, it's a little cooler down here. But the main reason I came down here is I wanted to talk to you guys on the camera. And somebody's got a boom box up there and they're playing music. and don't want a copyright strike so I moved down here there's a let me move her around here so the main pool area is seen is right behind us there there's um, like a little dam they got built out of wood there and the water falls down there the water down here is warm but not hot like it was uh, up there and uh, so Nancy stayed up there I just came down here to show you and to talk to the camera a little bit the place is really cool um, it's, it's really nice to have a park where you got a stream right next to it that's hot springs and you can come down here and relax. I think I'll probably make a couple trips down here, but that's yeah, really fun. Take a look around. Hey, look, we found our own private waterfall. But what's fascinating is all the ferns and oh, the greenery along the side of the edge. I told Ed he's got to zoom in on that and get some of that footage. Anyway, I'm enjoying my little waterfall, but it is colder here. So, so this water coming out of the fall is cold, cold, and the water in the river is warm. But up there where the rocks are, the where the hot springs sulfur, come yeah. in, it, it, I can't get near it. No, the, the, I haven't seen anybody that's got up that close. Uh, well, I heard a lady say she got too close and kind of scorched her arm, but I don't know. I didn't uh, see it, so we're not gonna take her. Word we're not apart. gonna get up that close. So. It's, right. it's really it's really fun. We're having a good I, time. Oh, I'm, it, I'm headed to the warm. I'm wondering about the sulfur smell. And, um, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I heard some people say, oh, you can smell a little bit of sulfur and that. It, it's okay, but it's, it's not that bad. So. So I got tapped to explore the lower river because it's a little colder down here. I'm going to try to do this. Only brought one battery for the camera and it's about out. <laughs> so I got 6%. Let's see what I can show you uh, in a short amount of time. Okay, it is quite a bit cooler back there. We're actually chilly. Um, this is like a Tarzan movie or something. Uh, I'm going back here where no man has gone before. Wow, there's another waterfall right there and the water coming in off that is 
freezing cold. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay back here, but. <laughs> We're gonna keep moving. The water's cold. It's it's no longer hot. But I understand that if you get back here, there's another pretty cool waterfall. So we're gonna see that. And then oh well look, we came to the end. So this is the end. This is the source of the cold water. Brrr, I gotta get back up here before it's warm. supposed to leave and I was getting the camper all ready but Ed said what do you think if we stay another day because everybody will leave and we'll have a place to ourselves." and I said all right you're the one that does all the driving okay I'm glad we did because we came back to the springs and it is crystal clear there were so many people here yesterday that this was just all it was mud mm -hmm. So, so anyway, I'm really glad, and all, like I just walked up through here, and there's benches all along the way who knew yesterday that you can just set and you don't have to crouch down. So we're so glad that we yeah. decided to stay because um, yesterday most of the teenagers in Fort Nelson were here. <laughs> yeah. and, and Fort St. John. Is, yeah, yeah it, today it's really nice. Oh, so, it's really quiet. Uh, all those old people. <laughs> so, people but like us. across the street there is a lodge and we got to go over there this morning they did have wi-fi we had to pay five dollars but it's for the day so we've mm -hmm. gone twice now mm -hmm. just to keep up with the kids and got to facetime the ones in costa rica so that was a lot of fun so anyway we're having a good day we're gonna spend some time here in the spring so one more day here at the springs before we get back on and the road i did something i never do i took a nap it really <laughs> felt good uh, I've been in these springs most of the day today. Yes, so. yes. All right, we're going to uh, mess around the springs here. Uh, we'll show you a few things. If you notice here, there's like a line of people in a semi-circle here because the currents are so hot over there, you can't hardly stand it. In fact, sometimes you're, you're here in a spot and it's nice and cool and then all of a sudden it gets really hot. So um, we're kind of moving around a little bit and we've met some friends around us and uh, we're having a really good time conversation with them. So um, yeah, this is really neat. I tried to go up by the by the pool itself, but I'm just too big a wuss. I can't I can't take the heat. But um, I did see some people put a rock up there on the uh, on the spring uh, the other day, but I, I think it's just too hot. This is about as close as I can get because there's a nice cool one coming off to the side. But if you just put your hand like this far over it's just burning hot over there so like right here you can't hardly touch and then here it's cool so it's interesting how these currents work but um, somebody gave up their spot so i could sit here so i'm going to give it back to them you guessed it we forgot to end our video we had dinner last night with the mcnaughton family and went back and went to bed well i did i got all cozy and ed went back to the um springs so this is the end of that video hey i just want to say thank you for, to the mcnaughton family they were so kind to us very kind been, they had three wonderful kids that were just great to it was talk like to being around grandkids yes. so it was fun having just some family time with them although it was another family so uh that was a great evening thank and you, uh, yes. thank you for uh hosting us at your campsite and uh man i can't say enough good things about this spot it was really a lot of fun 
so much fun that we actually spent two days there so and we'll stop on the way home yeah so i I'm, we feel refreshed and ready to go thanks for watching we'll see you next sunday bye now